not to class, but I find that some of the students are really quick to admit the problem, quick to start realise that it's wrong. They'll say, yeah, yeah, next time I'll, I'll be better. And they just want to get early because it's lunchtime. Yeah, no, a very good point. And if you notice someone does this or whatever they do, you'll say, look, I can see you're trying to get out of here in a hurry. Uh, I just want to make sure you do understand the impact your behaviour is having. So you hear what you see. Now, if you feel, especially women or feminine people, they know here as well as here, right? They just know. So if you know that person's got another motivation for agreeing with you and you're not hearing it come from their adult, then you'll, you'll say as much. You'll say, look, I hear you say that there's a problem, but I don't feel you really believe that. And they'll go back in their adult often, they'll say, yeah, okay, yeah. And you'll say, are you sure? And then, yeah, because I really, you know, I need you to see. Otherwise, how's it going to change? And then in class, you'll say, come on, you said you, you understood. But I think you're right. They will want to get out of there. By the way, they don't enjoy this. It's a, a real C is squirms sometimes. They're very uncomfortable taking ownership of something like this. Not this one. I don't think this, this sort of problem is a problem for most kids. That's why. Uh, a gesture, but had it been something hurtful about the woman, the kid's mother, and some animal, then you might have been more compromised. You know. Okay. Any other observations? You'd probably say that. You'd probably, oh, if you're not verbal, oh, that's difficult. But you'd certainly say, if you felt they were going through the motions, let's say, you would say, look, I get this. But then you'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll reflect what you see, which is, look, you look as though you're sort of just going through with this, but I don't sense that you understand that your behaviour does affect people in that way. Well, if you, okay, let's try, you, you be the, per thanks, thanks very much. Okay, you be the person, you won't need the mic because you're not going to say anything. So, how does it go? It'll be a boy for sure. So if I say, Jason, um, what was the problem by the way, what happened? Okay, Jason, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased you're here. I, I can see you're not comfortable with it, but I'm really pleased you're here because I'm worried about what happened today. I was concerned that someone could have got seriously hurt. You're telling me that you're not interest in cooperating, I can see that, but but I think it's it's a problem because your friend, um, Michael, when you hit him, he could have he could have been seriously hurt. He swore at you, didn't he? So the only reason you hit him was because he, he, he swore at you? Yes. By the way, notice that I got you with silence. Silence is very powerful in this because when you're waiting for someone to be responsible and they're in their adult, silence is definitely on your side. Now you t didn't even look to, you did it well because you weren't looking around. Most people look around at the other people looking for support and of course they wouldn't be here. So you didn't do that, which made it easy for me. Um, yeah, and then, and then I can get moving a bit. So I could have said to you, look, look, Jason, you're a good kid, but I'm, I'm really expecting you to help me with this because, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I'm concerned that you're not prepared to engage. So I could have given you the second problem level, which is, come on, what sort of kid are you? We're trying to talk about what's good for your friends. So now I've got another problem. I, I can express it to you. Now I'm concerned that, you know, here I am trying to work something out so your friends don't get hurt and you're not cooperating. You're not interested. Or you're too scared. I don't know what it is. You're not telling me anything. And then I can wait for another seven minutes and you'll melt. So you can keep rephrasing your I message, but it's now a different one. Now I've got a problem because you're not willing to work on this with me. Would that make any difference? Worth a try? Try it and see what happens. Okay, so, no, I'm, I'm not you in role. I'm talking about you as a teacher here. 
Yeah, good. Yeah, so that, any other observations you want to make before I let you loose on this? I normally wouldn't, but um, you, you might have to play that in the artistic way. But I would like to just get out there that your concern... See, if I say to you, my concern is that someone could have got hurt and they have a right to be safe. My concern is that someone would have been distracted and they have a right to focus. Then I'm really explicit that I'm coming on behalf of rights. And we'd already discussed all this right stuff, so I want that out there. So I don't know, maybe you could, you could, you could just assume it. But mostly you don't want to assume anything. You want them to know exactly where you're coming from. Okay, you're in groups of four again. Same group as you had before. Most of you are still here, I think. If you're stuck, come and see me. Otherwise, start now in this room this time. But please signal me when you get stuck, which you will do. Because I can come and help you get unstuck a bit. So set up one, two, three, four. Use the sheet. Go for it. What do you want to say? What, what, having sort of experienced it, what are your reactions? Any reactions or reflections on what you've just been doing? Yep. Just, just it seems to be more about trying to get the, the student on the side and trying to get them to come along, leading them to a solution together. And just wondering about positioning of the people, where people sit and the way they stand, whether they'd be better off not sitting facing each other but sitting both facing neutral positions those sorts of things third person today fantastic you are right now if this is coming out of grounded theory you're very clever because it's only in the last five years that people have been talking a fair bit about this that with boys you are better off not having eye to eye they are intimidated you're better off parallel and even better than that is walking so if you're walking them around the difficulty I found, and I didn't hear it in the lunchtime discussion I had, which interests me, the difficulty I would have thought that if you walk them around lunchtime, they're going to see other children. And I don't want any other children. But maybe it's because those children are engaged in other activities at lunchtime, so they're not actually sort of participants, inverted commas, in the discussion. So I don't know why that works, because I would have thought, theoretically, to keep them adult, you don't want them seeing other children, but I guess if those other children are not in the, in the, in the sort of like they're not at the door or they're, they're not knocking on the window, whatever they do when you try and have a conversation with a kid, um, they may not drag that child out of that, that, that student you're working with for some reason. Now, you were going to say something. What was that? I was just saying, adding to that, it's great if you're even though you can be outside, you're not necessarily speaking really loud anyway. So it is a one-on-one -on -one conversation you're having. And your voice projection goes, goes forward. So the student has to really tune into the ear and do they, but don't they take support from some of the kids around them? Not sure they don't. Is that, why is that? Why, why if I'm feeling like you're making me feel guilty and if I could just get back into my child's state, that'd be fine, why can't I somehow become a kid like all the rest of these kids? Is it because you... They're identifying with you and having that conversation. And kids do want their teachers to like them and want If you're sorting the problem out together, and they're engaged in doing that and actually being in that relationship. Because that's ultimately what they want. 